evening guys good evening once again welcome to south africa lately a channel where we discuss south african trending news we do however creep here and there from international news when it is trending enough to be brought here now honestly i know you are exhausted of the chidima store i am too and there's even a video that i posted recently promising not to just comment on this issue again until we are done with the miss universe nigeria unfortunately the story of chidima miss south africa and miss universe nigeria is a story that is pregnant with so many stories inside so no matter how much you try to stay away one way or the other you find yourself back to the story so with that said, I would like to greet specifically Nigerians and South Africans in a very special way. We've been on this journey. Tension was there up until we loosened up all of us. I don't think there's anyone that is still emotionally charged over this Chidima issue anymore. So that's why I find it easier to share without any feeling whatsoever. Right. So now what I want to share it's a report by the Home South African Home Affairs Department. They, are sh they shared their report, the state of the background, the progress so far, and the direction that they are taking after the findings. Now, let us read it together, or maybe let me read it to you. It says, uh, we're starting with the background. The background says, on Monday the 5th, August 2024, the organizers of Miss South Africa sent the Department of uh, Home Affairs a request to verify the citizenship of the contestant. Upon receiving the request, the department endeavored to retrieve the records of the contestant and her mother. A team of investigators and civic services officials was established to investigate the registration of the birth of for both the mother and the daughter. A preliminary, a preliminary investigation found that there was a prima facie indication of fraud committed by Chitima Adichina's mother. On the strength of the prima facie indications, the department brought in the investigation scope. Prima facie reasons exist to believe that fraud and identity theft was um, fraud and identity theft may have been committed by the person recorded in home affairs records as Chitima Adichina's mother. Ooh, wee, this story in Kosiam. An innocent South African mother whose identity may have been stolen as part of the alleged fraud committed by Adichina's mother suffered as a result because she could not register her child. Adichina too could not have participated in the alleged unlawful actions of her mother as she was an infant at the time when the activities took place in 2020, in 2001. Sorry, the progress so far. The department has identified officials who registered the birth at the Home Affairs Office in Johannesburg. One of the officials has since passed on. The department is investigating two other officials who may have been involved in the alleged fraudulent scheme. The department has relied on its records to establish that the South African mother whose identity may have been stolen was registered by her mother in 1982 and as a result, she entered the National Population Register. The birth was registered in Swane. In 1995, she applied for an ID. Three months after the application, she returned to Home Affairs to collect the ID. On her return to Home Affairs, she learned that her ID was issued in Johannesburg at an office where she had not applied for. She then gave birth in 2001. When she went to register her child at the Home Affairs, she discovered that there was a child registered under her ID number. The child that was registered was Miss Chidima Vanessa Onwe Adichina. Hmm. This is deep, hey? She then spent months before she could be given a new ID number. Home Affairs has visited the address listed for Miss Adichina's mother and that of the lady whose ID was stolen. The information shared by the family of the lady whose ID was stolen in Swane matches the details contained in the Department of Home Affairs records. Now, progress so far. 
Miss Adichina's mother was issued with a promotion of Administration Justice Act later on the 7th August 2024. Her response, to, her response to this letter will determine the final decision that the department will take in relation to the ID she is currently carrying. The ongoing investigation of the department is also looking at other areas that are important for the fair and accurate conclusion of the case. Hmm. Yo, guys. Conclusion. The department's investigation is at an advanced stage. This investigation now includes the involvement. This investigation now supposed to be includes the involvement of the Directorate for Priority Crime Investigation, the Hawks. The department's drive towards the digitization will eliminate instances of fraudulent interference. This case highlights the need for caution as the department implements the court order on blocked IDs. The department is obtaining legal advice on the implications of the alleged fraudulent activity on Adichina's citizenship status. So you had that right. You had that right. So the people that I want to focus to the most is South African corrupt officials they don't know the damage that they've done in our country those people they deserve to go to jail for the very 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 longest time they need to pay for their sins and the disorganization of the country you know when you have such officials who lack patriotism and are not concerned about other people's well-being see today we have this mess and also we may judge Miss South Africa or maybe even judge Chidima for entering the Miss South Africa. But, you know, this thing that we have been complaining about in South African for so many years wouldn't have come to light. Do you understand? So, every dark cloud has a silver lining. That's what I'm taking from this whole thing, that it was time that the one upstairs wanted to reveal all that is happening in his land <laughs> to understand what i'm saying so that's where we, we are now so hopefully this whole thing we get to get closure and so that we move on i know we are tired i am tired of the story i'm tired i'm tired so it's going to be interesting to see what is going to happen with chitima's participation in the miss universe nigeria how that is going to play out internationally when she should she win for her to go to Miss Universe. Is she going to, to be walking that stage or maybe they are going to pull out because apparently the, the guy said, Chidima said, she, the case was dropped. As you see it yourself, there was no case that was dropped. So, whew, you know, you know, I no. Anyway, I thought let me share this with you as always. I'll see you in the comment section and thank you for watching my videos.